Now let's take a look at the median of trapezoids. Medium and mid-segment is the same thing. Previously, on the previous homework, we talked about the mid-segment of triangles. Some people might call it median of triangles. Remember, so we had a triangle and we had the segment in the center that it was parallel to one of the sides. Now, when we look at trapezoids, the median or mid-segment, however you wish to call it, it is right there in the center. Now, this happens to be parallel to two sides now. Right? We're going to call those bases. The mid-segment is parallel to two sides. I remember on a triangle, and on the previous uh, homework assignment, I said the mid-segment times two was equal to the one side that was parallel to it. So now what we're going to be doing here on the trapezoid is the mid-segment times two, I'm going to let it equal to the two bases. To begin with, I know that in Algebra 1, we learned that when we don't know the value of something, we replace it with the letter. So my question mark, since I don't know what the value is, I'm going to replace it with x. So I'm going to solve for x. And I just said a few minutes ago, I said the mid-segment times 2, so 2 times x, mid-segment times 2 equals, and I'm going to add the two bases. 17 plus 31. All right, let's take a look. 2 times x is 2x. 17 plus 31, that's 48. To get the x by itself, let me divide by 2. x equals 24, and that's it. x equals 24. All right, I was solving for x. Remember the question mark, I called it x, and I said I was going to solve for it. I just went the mid-segment times 2 equals the two bases. I might call it mid-segment, I might call it median. It's the same thing. So let's take a look at question number 10. The median in this case is 8.3. And the way I'm going to do is the median times 2 equals, there are two bases. One of them is 5.2. The other one, I don't know. But we learned that when we don't know a value, we replace it with a letter. Let me replace it with x. So I have the 2 times 8.3 equals 5.2 plus x. All right, 2 times the median is equal to, and then you add the two bases. The rest is just algebra. On the left side, right now, let me separate them through the equal sign. 2 times 8.3, that is 16.6. This is equal to 5.2 plus x. To get the x by itself, let me subtract 5.2. We learned that when we're dealing with decimals, we have to line up the decimal point. So that gives me, I know 16 minus 5 is 11, 11.4. Uh, 11 this is equal to x. So x equals 11.4. It's fine if we have decimals. Usually, when our numbers are given to us in decimals, we expect our answer to be decimals as well. So you multiply the median times 2, and it's equal to, and then you add the two segments. Once again, I call it in question number 9, I call it a mid-segment. In question number 10, I call it median. Mid-segment and median is the same thing. Now, to see if we understand the idea here, let's take a look at number 11. Solve for x. Now, the median here is right there. The median is negative x plus 31. And I know that I have to multiply the median, so negative x plus 31, everything times 2. And I'm going to let it equal to the two bases are 18 and 20. So I'm going to add the two bases. On the left side, I'm going to separate them to the equal sign. On the left side, let me distribute the 2. 2 times a negative x, it's negative 2x, plus 62. Right, I distribute the 2. On the right side, 18 plus 20, I'm going to call that 38. To get the x by itself, let me move the 62 over. Let me, don't forget, opposite sign. So I have that negative 2x equals... 38 minus 62 is negative 14. 
I mean, um, negative 24. All right, negative 2x equals negative 24. To get the x by itself, let me divide by the number in front of it. Negative divided by negative is positive. 24 divided by 2 is 12. x equals 12. Okay. I will solve you for x, so I'm done. Let's take a look at number 12. The median is 22 minus x. So let me go 22 minus x times 2. And then I'm going to add the two bases. 12 plus 16. So on the left side, let me separate into the equal sign. On the left side, let me distribute the 2. So that gives me 44 minus 2x equals 12 plus 16. That's 28. Let me move the 44 over as a negative 44. So that gives me that negative 2x equals 28 minus 4, 44 gives me negative uh, 16. Let me divide by negative 2. x equals positive 8. Okay, so we were dealing with the x in the median. All right, we know how to solve it when the x in the median. Now, what if the x is on one of the bases? I start by looking at the median. I don't care where x is. I start by looking at the median. 29. So 29 times 2 equals, and then I'm going to add the two bases. I'm going to go 1 plus 22x plus 35. I'm adding the bases. Now the rest is just algebra. Let me separate them through the equal sign. On the left side, 2 times 29, that's 58. On the right side, when it comes to x, I just see 22x. When it comes to numbers, I see 1 plus 35. That's 36. All right, let me move the 36 over. Don't forget opposite sign. 58 minus 36, that's 22. So I have the 22 equals 22x. To get the x by itself, let me divide by 22. So I get that x is equal to 1. Let's take a look at number 14. The median is 34. So I'm going to go 2 times 34 equals the bases are x plus 12 and 51. And I'm going to add the bases, x plus 12 plus 51. Now the rest is just algebra. The left side, 2 times 34, that's 68. On the right side, when it comes to x's, I just have x. 12 plus 51, that gives me 63. To get the x by itself, let me move the 63 over. Don't forget opposite sign. I know 68 minus 63 is 5, so I have the 5 is equal to x. There's the value of x. It doesn't matter if the x is part of the mid-segment or median, right? It doesn't matter if x is part of the median or x is part of the basis. Uh, oh, I'm always going to start median times 2 equals, and then you add the basis. Now, to see if we understand what we're doing here, I'm going to do something like this. Find the length of the median of each trapezoid. First of all, solve for x. So the median I see is 7x plus 1. So 7x plus 1, all of it multiplied by 2 equals the bases are 6x minus 3 and 37. So let me write this as 6x minus 3 plus 37. The rest is algebra. On the left side, let me distribute the 2 to get rid of parentheses. That's going to give me 14x plus 2 equals. On the right side, let me combine like terms. When it comes to x's, I get 6x. Negative 3 plus 37, that's 34. Now let me move the smallest x. 
minus 6x. The positive 2, let me move it over as a negative 2. I know 14 minus 6 is 8, so that gives me that 8x equals 32. Divide by 8, and we get that x is equal to 4. If my instructions were solve for x, good, I'm done. However, it says find the length of the median of each trapezoid. The median I know is 7x plus 1. I'm going to use the value of x. So I'm going to go 7 times 4 plus 1. I know 7 times 4 is 28 plus 1 gives me 29. So I'm asking to solve for x and then use the value of x. All right, let's take a look at another example. Let me solve for x first. The median is 2x plus 11. So 2x plus 11 times 2 equals, I'm going to add the bases. So let me go 4x minus 16 plus 2x plus 24. Okay. Now the rest is just algebra. On the left, let me distribute the 2 to get rid of parentheses. That gives me 4x plus 22. On the right side, let me combine like terms. 4x plus 2x is 6x. Negative 16 plus 24, that's 8. All right, let me move the smallest x. Negative 4x. Let me move the 8 over. 22 minus 8 is 14. 6 minus 4 gives me 2x. Divide by 2, x equals 7. Good. Now I can use the value of x. The instructions are find CD. The segment CD is 4x minus 16. I'm asking how much is 4 times 7 minus 16. 4 times 7 is 28. And then 28 minus 16 will give me 12. 